Hey, potheads. So I'm going to teach you how to make a cereal bowl out of, I have a pound and eight ounces. Okay, so the first step is we have our ball of clay. And I already had it wedged out. So we slapped all the corners so that it's a nice round little ball. You can give it a little round on the bat so that it's flat after that. And then you just slap it on the board. We'll push it down a little bit. Okay, and then get our sponge full of water. And we're centering right now. So I am pressing with my backside hand away from me. And I'm pushing down with my top side hand towards the bat. And then now we'll cone up to get all the air bubbles out. Okay, there's our little cone. Send it back down. Okay, so now we're ready to open it, but we want it to be a little bit better before we open. So we're just gonna center it again, make sure it's all good. And since it's a bowl, we're gonna send it down just a little bit more so it can have a wider base. Now that we are fully centered, We'll go right down into the middle, not too far down. We want a good base. Get some more water and then pull back towards your outside hand. Get some more water if it's not wet enough. Keep pulling. This helps to get your first pull the most amount of clay. So we got a lot done on just that one little pull. And then now I'm gonna fix the inside just by moving my sponge along the bottom so that it's nice and flat and even. Okay, so now I put some water on the lip and I'm gonna bend all the way over to the side so that I can see the walls. And then just compress your fingers together as you slowly pull the clay upwards. My clay is a little soft right now so I have to go a little bit slower than normal. Start down at the base again. Start to belly that out. And so when I want it to be coming out, I have my inside hand on the bottom and then my outside hand on the top so that it looks like this. And if I wanted it to go the other way, then I would switch my hands and I would push this one more and let my inside hand guide it. Now that we're here, I'm going to use my little blue rib tool and just press it right down. I use both of my hands. I was very connected and then I tighten my arms into my body so that it doesn't go all the way over and mess up my bowl. And I heard an air bubble pop, so that's really good news. That means it most likely will not crack at the bottom. It won't get an S crack. Get some more water. We're going to use our tool again and come on the outside. And same concept, just pressing your fingers together one over the other. Let it guide on the bat. I mean, sorry. Let it guide on the rib. And then for the lip of the bowl, I always like to curve it over just a little bit because it makes it easier to pick up. Now we have our sponge and I dried it out. There's no water in there. Let's get out all the water. And then the water from the side. I actually want it to be a little bit more bowed more of a belly. So I'm going to put some more water on there and then fix the bottom right down in here and just belly it out a little bit.
Okay, so this is my first bowl as a set of four. So I'm going to use this one as my reference guide. I'm going to use my little calipers to get a reference for my first bowl so that all four of them can be the same size. Here we are. And then we'll clean off our bat and get our cutoff wire. I just use fishing line. It's super cheap, and if you lose it, you can just cut yourself another piece. It makes for a really nice cutting wire because it's really thin. And just pull back, make sure you can't see the line inside. And then there is our cereal bowl. It, this clay is going to shrink by 15%. So I made it a little bit bigger than what we would expect it to end up as. All right. There's our cereal bowl. Come back next time to see how I glaze it and see the whole set.